another video welcome to a productive day in my life today i have a lot of stuff to get done and a few hours to get them done in i worked last night as you can see i'm also working again tonight i'm working on wednesday during the day and i'm also working on friday and saturday i believe no just friday four days this week so it's a busy week and i have a lot of stuff to get done i have groceries to do my house is empty i need to get some stuff for the house the house is also pretty messy so i need to clean it up i just feel like i have a lot to do and not a lot of time to get it done so last night i worked i did not sleep we had two colds last night and both of them died unfortunately so i didn't get a lot of sleep but the list of to do's is long and i can't let it pile up i actually dropped the kids off by my mom so i can have a few hours without interruption so i can knock as many things out of the way as i possibly can so there by my mom it's raining pretty heavily which is not nice for being out but i need to go to town i need groceries i have a few packages that i need to pick up and there's one or two other things that i need to get so yeah i'm gonna take you guys along let's have a very productive day let's see how much i can get done i like filming um when i need to get a lot of stuff done because it really is very motivating so if you have the house to clean up you guys can tag along with me on my day while you clean your house and you get some productive stuff done so let's get started groceries away i mainly got some fruits for the kids and you know like stuff to put in bread like eggs and sausages and stuff so now i'm gonna clean up the living room area and then i have quite a few things to do in the kitchen i try to use mondays like as a meal prep kind of day because i notice it makes my life a lot easier when i don't have to be cooking throughout the week when i can just pull something out of the fridge heat it up so i'm gonna cook some things i've had some things thaw thawing out and then afterwards i'll make myself a quick lunch and pick up the girls and then we'll continue on in our day i've been thinking a lot about mom guilt this morning and so we'll talk about it after i'm done with the chores <music> But I do enjoy having plants in my home because I think they add a nice touch and some people say it's healthy as well. But anyways, I got two of the easiest plants that I read is very easy to take care of and I feel like that is so true. So the pothos I think is very easy. Mine is just in water, it's not even in soil and I feel like it's doing very well compared to when I first got it. And then I have a snake plant that i got from literally outside of my house and i transplanted it here and it's growing so well but i have some leaves that are like very bendy um my mom told me one of the reasons was because they didn't have enough soil so i had like a smaller pot 
and i literally got another bigger one it was this brown color but i spray painted it black and then i got these <laughs> i got these and my plan is to like stick it in the soil and like tie the branch up to it i don't know if that's what i should be doing but if you have any experience with plants let me know what i'm doing guys any help about plants is appreciated in the comment section below Okay guys, we're almost at the finish line. I need to stop to eat lunch, but I know if I stop, I will not be able to come back and finish my task. So I'm just gonna push through. We're almost done. We're almost at the finish line. Cleaning is done. I'm just left to cook a few things, which is, should not take too long, maybe about another hour or so, but then after that, I'll be done. I can re relax for the rest of the day. But I just wanted to share with you a little productivity hack, and that is pairing, the act of pairing. And pairing is basically when you pair something that you don't really like or you don't want to do with something that you love doing so as i told you guys my goal is to read 50 books this year and my plan is not to just read 50 books but i'm going to listen to quite a few of them on audio and i definitely count that as reading books and i've been using audible audible usually provides like a free one month membership and you get a free book but then the membership also has lots of um free books that you can listen to i have actually finished seven books for the year starting january 1st and about four of them were audiobooks and i have really enjoyed especially times like these when it's quiet the kids are not around while i'm doing certain tasks at home to be listening to an audiobook and i am currently playing it on the tv actually it's, it's a black attention. screen but i miss these tiny theophanies in our day. i played at a volume we were fully alive and where i can hear in the kitchen and while i'm cooking i am listening to an audiobook and i have really enjoyed that and that has really kept me on task even though it's something that i do not necessarily like so just a quick productivity hack for you guys let's finish off in the kitchen and then i'm going to go get my girls
what a good day. I turned off the camera because I needed to work a little faster. So I cleaned the girls' room. I cleaned my room. I got rid of some of their toys. Um, I took advantage of the fact that they were not there because I surely would have gotten resistance if they were. And I cooked lunch for today. I, I had lunch. I also cook lunch for tomorrow and lunch for Thursday. Lunch on Wednesday is going to be spaghetti and ground chicken. So that's going to take 15 minutes. I didn't do that. But I am set up for the rest of the week and I feel good. The house is clean. I took a shower and I feel so much better. So now I am going to get the girls. And I haven't decided if I'm just going to spend the rest of the afternoon by my mom. Bring a book to read and spend the rest of the afternoon by my mom. Or if I'm going to come back with the girls here. We'll see. But I just wanted to talk to you about mom guilt for a little bit. Because tell me why. If I homeschool the girls. Which means that they are with me 24-7 basically. I mean there are times when I leave them with Ibrahim to go run some errands. Or with my mom. But most of the time they are with me. So tell me why. That this morning when I got home and I realized, okay, I'm tired because I had a long day at work today. I'm working tonight and there are lots of things that I need to get done. So I came up with the genius idea of asking my mom to watch them for a couple of hours. And after she said yes, tell me why that after I hung up the phone, I started to cry because I felt like a bad mom. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And I feel like so many moms could probably relate to that feeling of guilt when you are not with them and when you are with them you still feel guilt because you're playing instead of i don't know getting laundry done or cooking food or something it's like you just can't win if you are with them you feel bad because you're not doing something else and if you're doing something else and you're not with them you feel bad because you're not with them it's it's crazy but one of the things that i try to do whenever i find myself in that situation is reflect because i think that when you feel guilt it can be one of two things it can be that you really are guilty and you are pri prioritizing work or entertainment over your kids and you really need to do a check on yourself and how are you prioritizing your time and maybe do spend more time with the kids and then sometimes it's just plain old lies from the enemy and you need to realize, okay, this is a lie from the enemy. I love my kids. I spent quality time with them, but mommy needs to get some stuff done and just take some time to realign yourself with the truth. So that is exactly what I did this morning. I prayed about it and I spoke to my husband about it. I was like, babe, I feel really bad. He was like, don't worry. Don't even worry about that. So um i got over it real quick and i'm so glad i did because i was able to get a lot done and when ibrahim comes home i will probably get a nap before i head out to work today it's raining again it's a couple of it's been a couple of rainy days so um that has been my day now it's me and the girls time i'm going to go get them oh i actually forgot to show you a few of the packages i got so we have noticed that our youngest is just not very attentive when we read her stories which they which they have to learn you know when they're young their attention span is very very short but as you read them stories their attention span gets longer and longer and the more you read them the better able they are to sit still and follow the story and then as their vocabulary improves they're better able to understand the story which makes them more interested and makes them listen for longer and longer but we just found that kitty was just not listening to the stories but then what we realized when we were problem solving typical <laughs> for for us is that we we graduated from board books to picture books for bella because she is very capable of listening to the picture books because they're a little longer their vocabulary is a little more complicated but we forgot our poor little kitty she's not at bella's level yet because she is not bella's age and so we decided we need to get some board books for kitty that bella will still enjoy i'm sure but you know books that are very short with a, a, a less complicated vocabulary so that we can train her to sit through these short stories and then eventually graduate to the picture books that we're using for bella so we got her some books let me show you what we got so i am part of two facebook groups one of them is a homeschool buy and sell and then the other one is a children's book sale and basically there are people who sell 
books that they have so let's say for example i decided i didn't want any more board books i would put them on facebook in this group and i would sell them and i always look out for the ones that are selling their books for 75 cents or a dollar which is pretty inexpensive i find and very much worth the the investment so i got some board books for the girls i have the pout pout fish um the very hungry caterpillar a classic um brown brown bear what do you see another classic by eric carl good night moon also another classic chica chica boom boom is also um well known she persisted in spots is new to me then we have what is a narwhal if animal said i love you and let me just show you the difference so in a board book there are very few pages usually just a couple like nine ten and they're just a few sentences whereas a picture book whereas a picture book like for example little green girl um the stories are a lot longer look at the amount of pages that they have and then the paragraphs are a little longer now bella is fully capable by now of listening to this entire story without being bored she's almost four but kitty who's two she's not there yet and we just completely missed that for a little while and we were wondering why is it that she just was not interested in the story so we got her some really lovely board books because how do you get children to like reading by stories when they enjoy being read to when they enjoy being read to then they want to read for themselves and enjoy books and then kids to spend time together and talk about all the things that you're learning etc etc so we got these for her i hope she enjoys them i can't wait to show them to her but yeah so that is it for my productive day i'm going to get my girls and spend some time with them i miss them dearly i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you were able to get a lot of stuff done while you watched me get some stuff done so if you enjoyed this productive day in the life don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new and you're not subscribed what are you waiting for don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to comment down below let me know what is the one thing that you like pairing all of the things that you don't really like doing what is the thing that you pair with i like listening to audiobooks or podcasts what is it that you do anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video i'm pretty sure you will like these so click on them and enjoy see ya